Hey guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Check this out, you guys. I was running some errands today, and uh, I went through Salina, Utah, and these guys were hanging out, eating at Mom's Cafe. So uh, we're gonna check out these rides, UTV Overland style. This is pretty sick, you guys. Check it out. So this one here is a Booney Stomper from sunnysideoffroad.com and you can see he's added a few things there he'll tell us a little bit about that box on the back end and then also what he's done here on the front that is sick got the spare tire rack shovel axe gas water sweet got a little uh, internet booster up there on top you guys check that out how about this little trailer back here? This one was home built and it looks amazing. So we're gonna let these guys tell you a little bit about their rides and uh, what they're doing. So stay tuned, Rocky Mountain Backcountry, UTV Overland style. These guys are set up i love it all right you guys as you're watching this video i just have to make a quick note uh these guys were absolutely amazing to talk to sounds like they're having a dang good time and uh i'm sorry about the light it got a little bit dark on me so we used the headlights from the truck anyway you guys thanks for checking out rocky mountain backcountry all right so we got a motley crew here tonight these guys are gonna let us check out their utv overlanders tell me a little bit about who you guys are and uh what you're doing up here i'm uh bo henson from phoenix arizona and uh we do a two week 16 day overland trip every year um, this year we decided just to do uh utah so we're gonna uh spend 16 days fishing camping and uh, off-roading through Utah. We'll uh, run Kanab to uh, up by Mirror Lake and the uh, Uintas, turn around and come back on a different track. Awesome. How about you guys? I'm Jerry LaPaula from Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, this young man got me involved in this two years ago. First year we did from Phoenix, Arizona to Yellowstone on Dirt Road. Last year we went all the way to Mount Rushmore. All on side-by-sides. All on side-by-sides on dirt roads. Yeah. Intense. This year we spoiled ourselves and we had some teardrops that we were making the trip with. Um, we go through Utah each time. We fell in love with the lakes and we just want to spend some time in this beautiful state. Awesome. Fishing. Awesome. Doing some fishing too. Uh, my name is Tony Lopala. My brother and Bo got me into this. Uh, Last year, I retired myself, so I can go and do all this, enjoy it with them. Awesome. I'm just hanging out with them, having fun. Good stuff. I'm Conrad Monroe. I live in Cholo, Arizona. It's uh, the eastern part of the state, up at 6,500 feet, so it's quite like this area here. My wife and I do a lot of trail riding. I set the car up basically like I would a pre-runner. And we had grand, our grandkids were with us a lot, and then they became teenagers, and I took the back seats out. Awesome. <laughs> so can I can I brag about how old you are? Sure. How old? Um, tell us how old. Tell us again. Seventy nine. Seventy nine. You guys, that is the key to staying young, right there. Get out, have some fun, yeah. enjoy it. So we're gonna take a quick uh, look at each of these rides. I'm gonna have these guys tell you a little bit about what they got, maybe their favorite mod and what mod they wish they had next. So check this out. All right, you guys, this is Jerry in his outfit. He's gonna tell us a little bit about it. What is, what's your favorite mod? And uh, why did you choose a Can-Am? Bo that you talked to him, I got a ride in his, and when I ended up, there was a cone in his seat that I had to hold on to. <laughs> so darn exciting. Um, turned around and I got this, it's 2018 XRS. 
it's pretty much stock because it has enough power to scare the heck out of me so I'm happy with it the best mod on it I box springs the can-am springs are real nice but these I box springs set up and, uh, makes it run just fantastic nice What is, what, what, what do you wish you had that you don't have? Nothing right now. You got it all. I put a winch on the front. I've had to use it multiple times. Um, last year we tent camped, so we had everything on top. I was getting too darn old for that. That's when Bo got his teardrop in and I ended up building mine. We'll look at it a little bit later. Nice. The PCI. Radio, good set of headsets, makes it well, well worthwhile. I did the same, pulled the back seats out so can keep everything low that's in the car. Um, I got this one because it was the limited edition, the, the gold and orange. I never saw them before until I got it. Now they're everywhere. <laughs> that's kind of the way it works, huh? Yeah. You never, never see one until you have one. So then, that is great. Then falling in love with Bo's teardrop. I got some ideas from that and I started building this. Recently retired, so I just started in the garage putting it together. Um, so what are your dimensions on this? Um, it has six and a half feet of sleeping, four foot high. Okay. And then in the back, we'll see it later, is a, is a foot and a half for the kitchen area. And are you just four feet wide? Four feet wide. Okay, awesome hitches for being off lander that's a that's a three-way it rolls it swivels and it pivots so you can get in all kinds of country and you'll never be bound up excellent i noticed the max fan up there yeah, i got the uh, electric max fan i have 200 watts of solar power up top into a gel battery in the back 12 volt excellent what is what are your sides made out of? Uh, aluminum. Aluminum siding. 30, 40 thousandths aluminum. Okay. Totes for carrion. Water, cooler, battery. Oh yeah. Oh, tailgate even folds down. And then kitchen. How so cool is that, you guys? All the stove cooking, all my utensils, frying pans. Most important part, electric coffee maker. Got to, got to have the caffeine, right? Instant hot water shower. This man is living right here. <laughs> and then power inverter and controller for the solar. Excellent. Is there anything that you would add to your trailer that you don't have on it? Um, I'm going to airbag. Airbags. The springs on it, and they're just not strong enough for what we're going through and I want to be able to vary it for the, the different weights that might be in the trailer on the different trips. So I noticed the coil springs. I'm going to show these guys a picture of the coil springs right here. What what are those off of? They're actually the uh, front primaries that came off this when I put the eye box on it. Okay. They're the, the four inch. Okay. Um, and they're they work fine, but they're a little bit weak for the weight that turned out to be on this. I'm, okay. I'm just shy of a thousand pounds for the whole trailer. Just under loaded. a thousand. Just under a thousand pounds loaded. You guys check that out. When I weighed mine, if you guys go remember, when I weighed mine, I weighed at 950 pounds, um, and I think I had some bedding in there and just a little bit of food and some stuff. So, this is awesome. The entire frame is out of aluminum. There you go. And the entire structure of the teardrop itself is one by one aluminum, all insulated, and then FRP on the inside. And same thing, I've got a box, a spring mattress, and then memory foam on top. Some of the best sleep I've ever had. That is awesome. This is the way to overland, you guys. All these guys do it in their Toyotas. Forget about that. I'm down with Can Am overlanding. So, Bo, tell us the favorite thing about your car. It's green. It's green. There's a lot of it. There is um, a lot of green there, dude. That is sick. That wrap is awesome. 
this car started out at a, as a base, a base model 2018, and then it just went from there, from aftermarket uh, long travel suspension to custom shocks, heated seats, um, Evo Stage 3R tune, um, big, big stereo system, uh, PCI car-to-car uh, -car radios, also has uh, Bluetooth and uh, DSP. Um, basically, there's nothing stock on this car left except the frame. <laughs> it's looking it, good. Yeah. I noticed, I noticed, I noticed all of you guys have got the rear seat delete. I pulled... I always run a rear seat. I pulled it out this time so I can get some more stuff in the car. Since we're gonna be doing more camping and um, my lights aren't working right now, the dome lights, but. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Right. Got the Yeti in there and uh, there's actually a, a two seat Intex Pro kayak in here. Oh, nice. A two seat kayak. So you can get out on the water and do Ab some fishing. Absolutely. You get closer to the and fish. There's also a, a two burner stove with an oven in here. <laughs> nice. So we're, we're eating good. So tell me about your trailer. The trailer is a uh, 2022 uh, boonie stomper, Sunnyside off road boonie stomper. And then I did a lot of custom mods on it um, as far as the front goes to house some of my overland stuff. Yeah, I noticed that spare tire carrier. That looks yeah, pretty sick. I, I did that. I extended the front. Um, has the lock and roll hitch. How, how, how far did you extend the front of it? 18 inches. Nice. Because I can go completely vertical with the car and I still don't hit. Nice. So, which I do quite often. <laughs> Um, this so, is the inside. Um, do these do these come with a bed or do they not come with a bed? The you can order it with a mattress. I personally didn't like the mattress that came with it. So this is a, a full memory foam. Oh, you're eight sleeping inch, good. Eight inch full memory foam. <laughs> right on. Uh, cabinets all up in there, and um, this runs off uh, solar power. So there's uh, there's no batteries in it. There's a Jackery 500. So the um, solar powers the Jackery. Yep, solar powers the Jackery. Um, DC also did the the upgrade. This is the the three hundred percent cell phone and Wi-Fi booster. And how does that work for you? It has you have to have some type of a signal. So even if you got a bar, uh, like we were sitting at Fish Lake last night with at camp with one bar turn this on i got four nice so it, it, it boosted that's something good. that i need to look into um, it's got a built-in side table is here. that is that table is that factory is that something they put on or is no, that something you put on it's added on they put it on for me but i added that that was an add-on got my 110 here for the coffee maker excellent i love that table right there on the outside yep, yep, that's great good um this is uh cooking gear and so forth and i like this up a little bit Sorry about the lighting, you guys. Wanted to get over here earlier, but life happens, and so, here we are. Basically, you know, standard cooking gear, uh, one gallon propane tank. Does that last you a pretty good time? Oh, long time. Nice. Um, little fold up table. Um, there's a barbecue in there, a lightweight Cuisinart barbecue. Oh, yeah, you're set up. And then just uh, plates, um, cups. Coffee maker coffee maker all inside of here living the dream um, this this is removable it's it's on a, on a standard um, receiver hitch okay with uh, two side receivers to keep it from bouncing or moving um, excellent so this the trailer is evil queen 2 and the, the can am is evil queen 1 so he said this is the wife's ride that's right, yeah. that's right. evil queen that's right <laughs> well, you guys, you've done a great job with it. I love it. All right, guys, this is Conrad, 79 years old. I pray that I'm doing this at 79. So, Conrad, tell us a little bit about your machine. Okay, it's a 2019 uh, XRS that I basically, uh, I've redone the suspension. I revalved the shocks. Put IBAC springs on it. Uh, actually, one level above there, stage three, because it put a lot of weight in it. Uh, it's got an EVO stage three uh, R1 
because I can't find any R3 gas anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's a uh, 195 horse. Uh, it was basically, basically set up to uh, do trail riding in Arizona. And you said you swapped some XRC parts onto it. Oh, yeah. I took the uh, basically the, the front bumper, uh, front uh, what do you call it? Uh, mount. Yeah, the, the bulkhead. Bulkhead. And a uh, worn 4,500 winch. Nice. And it's uh, that it's probably of all the accessories I bought, one that I used the most. The winch? Oh yeah, we absolutely. Go out, we go out by ourselves a lot, and uh, there's been oh, probably a half a dozen occasions where I had to pull myself out of. You and, get and, and my get some use. Wife has helped me take the car out and pull it out. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. If you if you watch any of my videos, well, most of them I like to go out and I push the machine to see, and I use those winches on every trip just yeah. because I want to see how far it'll go. It, it's the first thing. If, if you're just getting into this, that's the first thing to put on. Yeah, the second thing is lights. Lights. Tell me about your lights. Oh, they're uh, Baja Design. Uh, the 10-inch uh, version. Uh huh. I got the uh, upper set here is set with uh, spots. The uh, bumper set is set with floods. And then I got a set of combo uh, ditch lights. Yeah, flip them on for us. Oh, okay. Blind us. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Woo! Gonna need sunglasses to watch this video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. So Conrad, what is your favorite mod? My favorite? I'd say the suspension. The suspension. Yeah. And and, and actually putting the EVO kit in, uh, going up to around 200 horsepower. I gotta say, it makes a big difference. We run the uh, the cinders in Arizona uh -huh. by Flagstaff, and you gotta have power. We were up in Idaho, this group, uh, at the dunes, southern Idaho dunes, 450 feet, and Jerry with his rig, 172 horse, he did fine. Yeah. So, but. Well, that e that extra horsepower is nice. My my 22s stock with 200 horse, yeah. and I like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I go down this street here, and I can you know, pull pull the front shocks all the way open. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a, that's fun. <laughs> so you don't have a trailer. Uh, I understand you and your wife are are tenting it. We're tenting it. So what we did is I pulled the rear seat. Uh huh. And okay. Here, here, here's my other favorite mod. If you don't run, if you don't have all the Milwaukee shit, yeah, <laughs> you gotta have it. Nice. But I put these uh, uh, boxes in. They mount on the, the rear seat frame. Okay. And normally I have a uh, uh, Eagle Pro Jack on this side, on that side over there. It's got a uh, Yeti cooler. Sleeping bags go in here. Uh, two cots, the tent. Um, since we have friends that have trailers and they haul all the cooking equipment, and both of them are really good cooks. Okay. No cooking stuff. All right. <laughs> so you made it made it a little bit lighter on yourself that way. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, this is this is awesome, you guys. This is an absolutely perfect way to travel. Um, two thumbs up, you guys. Uh, I have to thank these guys for letting me barge in on their day. Uh, like I said, I saw these machines this afternoon, and I just had to check them out. So, anyway, you guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry, and uh, check it out. Let's go do some UTV Overland. I think next week we're going to try and hook up with these guys, maybe spend a night with them on the trail. So, 
check it out rocky mountain backcountry we'll check you guys on the next one